What's up guys, my name is JD Cook 5 and welcome back to another episode of the Bayern Munich career mode. We are starting things off with a new competition for us, this is the kind of alternative of the FA Cup in England, so I say the DFB Pokal, as we look to see a Bundesliga 2 opponent and see if we can get through to the next round. A transition in terms of the team selection this time round, as I am able to play a weaker side. In goal, Manuel Neuer making the first start for the team, me and the white back of Moreno, Arabi Mai and Carrera as the centre back with Harold as the left back. Sydney Ryberger and Cruz come together as the midfield two with Wana just in front with Carrasco, Martin and Molina making up the front three. As I say, a massive transition in terms of the side, but that wasn't going to stop us and I was hoping that we were still able to put through some decent performances even though it is a change up in what we are used to. Straight off the kickoff, we are making to see if we can look and intercept this ball as we press really, really quickly. Quickly. We're able to intercept that with Moreno picking up the ball and as you can see we're in their half and we are pretty much equal in terms of the players that are matching and we are 4-4. Four and four. We make an inroad with Martin and we already find the back of the net with three minutes already gone. This was absolutely brilliant start in all honesty. I obviously expected some sort of result against this lot but I like to have the fact that we have changed the side and this is working for us also and it's always nice to give players minutes when you're unable to in the bigger games so when you've got games like this it is always nice really well worked goal decent bit of transition from where we did intercept the play and we was able to move the ball up the field really quickly and find the back of the net so early on keep having no chance with that and Andreas Martin is on the score sheet 14 minutes gone here and they're trying to get a bit of play going they have made some decent passes as you can see they're in here but Manuel Neuer is able to come out really quickly his reactions are still good and he is able to collect the ball not so long after that opportunity we're able to get back up the field as you can see Wana on the board now he is able to kind of take his time pass it out to Herald who finds Moreno switching the play just passing it about see if we can find an inro Carrasco in some space he takes the shot and it does get saved and put out for a corner but a really good opposition honestly for a Bundesliga 2 that I felt like they were pushing really well and I did find at times they were promising obviously I've got a weaker side but that is nevertheless we are still by Munich and we should be comfortable in this game Moreno clears here as you can see it only goes as far as a player in blue but we're able to intercept and the ring back completely slips over Steven Gerrard-esque as you can see Carrasco one on one he squares it to Martin and Martin finesses it into the bottom corner just inside 30 minutes and that is his second goal for the game and the second goal for Bayern Munich also really good goal and this is definitely coming together I feel like the uh, connection between Carrasco and Martin is doing really well and he's not a bad striker in all honesty for a backup backup striker I feel like he's definitely doing the business and finding the back of the net when needed but really well taken goal and we find ourselves in a better opportunities now 37 minutes gone and they're not letting up they're still trying to get on the attack here trying to have any point where they can take their chances Diara on the ball there as he pushes Herald off and he finds Rodriguez he's able to find Lammers and Lammers shoots and Lammers scores what an unbelievable goal that was for them to be honest and an unexpected one at that at least they can say they've scored against Bayern Munich hey eh? but yeah really good goal and um, we found ourselves now in the second half 50 minutes gone Moreno on the ball he finds Sidney Ryberger who finds Wana playing it about between each other Herald on the ball now trying to get that goal to make a two goal deficit between us as we do get intercepted but again we're in there straight away Martin on the ball he finds Carrasco Carrasco to shoot Carrasco to score brilliant goal nicely intercepted quick bit of passing and we find ourselves a little bit more comfortable in this fixture I was kind of a bit worried at first in all honesty going uh, with a one goal conceded but yeah we are able to get it back and I didn't want to have it where I was late on I wanted to finish this game and hopefully get a few more other players on off the bench 56 minutes gone here and we are able to try and see if we can intercept this they are on the attack here as you can see Harold getting stuck in but it only falls to Lammers. Lammers tries to find Honsak and Moreno is able to intercept. He finds Gnabry the substitute who makes a 1-2 with Martin. Gnabry's got the pace, he's got the space also. He's pretty much, he's clear. He whips it into Carrasco, he takes his touch, he shoots and he finds the inside post to make
make it 4-1 and that is his second goal for the game also. Two goals from Martin, two goals from Carrasco and we are looking much the better team in this game. Really good goal. I felt like it was really well worked from Gnabry getting the space and allowing Carrasco to run into the area unmarked and finding the back of the net. Straight after that we wasn't going to let lie and Gnabry wanted to get on the score sheet but it's not going to be because Martin's on the ball. He goes to chip it but he doesn't go as far as Carrasco. You still pick it up. Why not on the ball? He goes to shoot and that is the first goal for Bayern Munich. The youngster gets on the score sheet and a brilliant goal at that also. Thumps it into the back of the net to make it 5-1 and we are wheeling away with this cup tie putting them to absolute shame and definitely showing who is the dominant force in this game. The keeper could have done better, don't get me wrong. I feel like he does get a touch to it as we replay here. You can see the way he hits it, the power and everything else. He isn't able to get down quick enough and unfortunately for him, he only has to look at it with the back of the net nestling. 65 minutes gone and we're still trying a little bit. They are still trying to go at me, but we're able to clear a free kick there. We take our time, Martin squaring it to Gnabry. Gnabry makes it a 1-2 with Wano. As you can see, there's a lot of runs, Lorente being one of them, the sub Substitute. He's pretty much in on goal, one on one, and he finds the back of the net to make it 6-1, and this game is turning into a cricket score. Unbelievable stuff from Lorente. Good goal also, and that was really nice to see him getting on the score sheet and definitely solidifying this cup tie. 80 minutes gone, and we're still pressing. We still want another. Of course we do. As you can see, Martin making an inroad to Lorente. Much a bit of an impact. Gnabry going to take a shot, and he scores. The impact substitutions are working really well, and we are finding the fresh legs being able to get on the score sheet. And Gnabry doesn't get played often either, so it's nice to see him on the score sheet and being able to get the goal. But yeah, such good play. We're able to kind of play it across the three. And he just finds a bit of space, finesses it in the bottom corner, and the keeper has absolutely no chance. Cool, calm, and collected, and we are wheeling away into the next round. And that was full time then, 7-1. And I do believe that is our biggest win in this uh, particular save as we look to now go on to the next round of the DFB Pokal. Really good stuff and I'm really glad to be able to proceed to the next round. Andreas Martin being highlighted there. He could have been on the score sheet much more. As you see, seven attempts, only two goals. But that's not to matter because we're now back into the Bundesliga where we are away from home and we are against Freiburg. Not too sure what to expect from this opposition but we're going to be taking it seriously as always and we look to try and get another three points on the board in the Bundesliga. Going into the teams now, we have got Diogo Costa in goal, back four, Masaruri, De Ligt, Van der Ven and Baku. Midfield three, we've got Fernandes, we've got Havertz there and we also have Pellegrini and then the front three of Komen, Moise King coming back in and also Xavi Simmons. Changing it up now with obviously a lot of the uh, na natural players that do normally play in this side coming back in after a well-earned rest from that cup tie win. 12 minutes gone here as you see Moise Keane on the ball. He makes a really good pass here. Javi Simmons picking it up. He isn't able to find anyone. They only intercept it as far as Pellegrini and he goes back to Komen. Komen whips it but we can't get anything on that but we are very unlucky for Simmons not to be able to tap it in and unfortunately it actually goes out with a goal kick with the last touch going off of Simmons. 19 minutes played and we get a corner here but unfortunately it only falls out to one of the Freiburg players. They are able to clear as far as the halfway line and we have to pick it up from there and go again. Baku finding Van der Ven who passed it over to Fernandes. He doesn't able to find what any pass whatsoever as again we lose the ball. He picks it up once again and he finds Moise Keane. Moise Keane in and he scores. Brilliant goal. The way he intercepted that Fernandes and finding Moise Keane in such space. It was only a matter of time before that went in the back of the net. He is not missing from there and he has been so prolific for us in that Bayern Munich shirt. Really well taken goal and we find ourselves winding up in this tie looking the better out of the two. A really good start in reigning Germany as we look to continue this form. As he celebrates with the side, we now look on to try and do as much better as we possibly could. 23 minutes gone, as I say, and we are trying to get the interception from the kickoff, trying to push as much as possible. Baku intercepts from a wayward pass from Freiburg. Mickey van der Ven on the ball as he finds Pellegrini, who then squares it to Komen, but unfortunately, he isn't able to find it initially, but he intercepts and he catches them off guard. Moise Keen, pretty much one-on-one -on -one with the keeper to make it two. Two for Keen and two for Bayern Munich. Brilliant goal as he wills away in celebration, one after the other, as we look to solidify our place in the Bundesliga, hopefully getting the top spot 
and that was a brilliant bit of skill and play. Really quick, one after the other, as I say, but really well done in all honesty. Wasn't expected whatsoever, but he does it really well, and he beats the keeper to make it 2-0, and as I say, two goals also from Waze Keane. He is so good in front of goal, and he has probably been one of the better players that we have had this season. There's been so many to highlight, but he is definitely up there. 35 minutes gone, and Coman's on the ball. He makes a 1-2 Mwaze Keane. He doesn't pass it initially as he takes his time. Takes the time. He goes round one. He go past two. He's pretty much got a clear bit of space. He has a shot, and it absolutely bounces off the bar, leaving it shaking and only to fall out to a Freiburg player. Really unlucky, and it should have gone in the back of the net. That would have been a wonder strike. Going into the second half now, 50 minutes gone as we pass it between ourselves, looking at a decent restart in the second half. Javi Simmons is found by the initial pass as it ricochets off the Freiburg player. And then we're trying to do a little bit of acrobatic play, but unfortunately the keeper is saving and he puts it out for a corner. Bruno Fernandes on the corner now as we look to see if we can do anything in this in this game and get the third goal. He whips it in, Moise Keane not being able to get to it, but it falls to Pellegrini. He takes the shot and unfortunately it hits a Freiburg player and they can only clear as far as Dieta. Dieta is able to pass it over to Ricardo Pereira, but he finds Pellegrini, no fault of his own, and unfortunately we can't convert that one. One on one with a keeper pretty much, but the keeper makes himself nice and big, and he does make the save. 56 minutes gone here, and Freiburg are trying to get a bit of play together, trying to try and get into this game, but unfortunately they can't. Moise Keen now being found in a decent bit of space. He's got options. He takes the shot, and what a goal that is. He might have not had that first one where it hit the bar from a decent bit far out, but Keen is now successful in this attempt and he finds the back of the net to make it 3-0 and that is free for Moise Keane also what a bright player this man is turning out to be hat-trick after hat-trick it is unbelievable stuff he takes his time he knows what he wants to do he's got it on his right and a similar goal to his first one for the club and he's able to put it in the top corner with the keeper only looking behind him to see that he's fallen back into the back of the net he had no chance with that whatsoever way off his line and, and the positioning was really poor straight after the restart Freiburg are getting on the foot now as you can see we're a little bit on the back foot as they get a bit of play going and as they take their time they're able to have a few men forward we can't get to it as you can see they're able to weigh up their options they're going to be able to find one in the box as they play it out wide looking to try and get an inroad they square it and Sesco is able to find the back of the net from a, a initial Diogo Costa save but yeah, unfortunately for us, Sesco is fine in the back of the net. And yeah, an unlikely one in all of and an unfortunate one at that. I feel like uh, Diogo Costa was very unlucky with the initial first save being made. We see out the game really well in all honesty. We make some substitutions. As you can see, with Charlton hitting the bar there, he got really unlucky. Could have made it four and the first goal for him in this tie. But yeah, it just seems it wasn't to be. But we did really well. I think after that goal, we shut off and we just allowed ourselves to kind of pass it about quite comfortably and kind of wait for the final whistle to be blown. So that's it, 3-1 in Freiburg, and we are better of the two. We was much dominant force in all honesty. Moise Keane proving the point with getting three goals out of five attempts, and he collects the match ball and thanks the fans also. Brilliant stuff from Moise Keane, and he is definitely planning to be one of the top, top strikers in this league, if not the world at the moment. Brilliant stuff from the young man. As we go into the next fixture here, you, we've got a massive one ahead of us. Champions League once again as we look to proceed in the group stage and hopefully do a bit better. I mean, we've been playing really well in all honesty. I don't feel like we've been playing bad whatsoever. It's just time to be able to improve on what we've got and hopefully proceed even further. A weaker opportunity side or out of them all, FC Michelin being the Danish side. And to be honest, I didn't expect much. I, know I felt like the first tie was fairly competitive, but I know I have the strong strongest side. In goal then, Diogo Costa with Mickey van der Ven and Virgil van Dijk making these centre-back partnerships. The two wing-backs being uh, what we've got, Mazzarari and Cash, Ryberger and Cruz as a midfield two with Musiala just in front and Carrasco, Richarlison coming in from Weza Keane and also Lorente making a rare start. Changing it around the fitness and everything else, I feel like some players deserve minutes. I don't want to keep Richarlison on the bench and I uh, kind of keep him unhappy because I feel like that would be unfair. Six minutes gone here and we're trying to make a fast start to this game as Lorente finds Cash, he whips it into Musiala who isn't able to pick up the ball but it falls out to Lorenzo, he does, Richarlison unfortunately for him, he can't get the, his body across where the player is and then it just hits just straight out to the keeper and the keeper can only parry it out for a corner kick, Tony Cruz on the corner as he whips it in trying to find a Bayern Munich man, it falls out to Lorente from the clearance and Musiala's on the ball and that could have been a fanatic finish to that but unfortunately it wasn't to be he takes it on his stride to hit the volley and he does definitely test the keeper as again 
when he puts it out for a corner kick. Once again, Tony Cruz on the opposite side now, but he's going to be whipping in the corner as we look to try and see if we can find anyone. Again, they clear it, but it's only as far as Carrasco. He picks it up, Musiala, and the keeper once again saves, proving to be a real shot stopper at the moment and doing really well in all this thing, keeping him in the game, that's to say. Tony Cruz once again, the third corner in a row as Van Dyke is found, and unfortunately, we aren't able to do much, and it goes out for a goal kick. 17 minutes gone, and we are really piling on the pressure there. Lorente found from a pass out from the back. He's able to use his pace. He's got the space also. There's options also. He squares it to Musiala, and that's what you call a simple but completely effective headed goal. Brilliant stuff from the young man as he wills away in celebration, celebrating in front of the fans. As you can see, his teammates there joining him also. Really well worked goal. Quick goal at that also, but Musiala dinks it what to the left and he's able to find the back of the net to make it 1-0 in this Champions League tie. Completely unmarked and he takes this opportunity. I mean, he kind of is lucky because he doesn't put too much direction. And as you can see on the replay close up, it actually does fall off the keeper's hand. Richarlison picking up a knock. I'm not too sure if it's serious, but I'm going to take him off straight away. I'm not able to risk it. He's going to have to come off from Moise Keane, and that's unfortunate because we haven't seen much of him at the moment, and he can only come off, unfortunately. 45 minutes gone, and we are looking to nearly be at the end of the first half as we look to see if we can go in at 2-0. Matty Cash on the ball as he looks to try and whip it in. He's going to pass it to Lorente who takes his time. Keen on the ball now as he passes it out to Tony Cruz trying to find an option. There's a little bit of space. He's fine Musiala and Musiala finesses it on his left foot to make it 2-0 in this game and a brilliant performance from the young man. He is definitely proving to be the better out of the lot. A really well worked goal. We took our time. We found the inroad of space and Musiala can only wheel away in celebration with his teammates. So cool and composed with that finesse. He looks like he's been doing it for years in all honesty. Such a world class player as we can only but celebrate that and go into the second half 2-0 up. FC Michelin trying to get a few passes together as you can see trying to weigh up their options. They've got a fast bit of wing back as you see. They take their time but we aren't able to get it. They're going to square it but Diogo Costa is able to get a hand to it and collect the ball. He throws it straight at him away as a keen and it's going to be a counter attack as you can see Musiala making a 1-2 we've got red shirts going forward as you can see Moise Keane there he finds Matty Cash as Matty Cash makes a decent bit of passing to Musiala he loses the ball but he picks it up and he makes the goal as it 3-0 and the perfect hat-trick for Musiala header left foot and right foot and he can only but celebrate that one in absolute jubilant form really lucky in all honesty as he did lose the ball initially but a, a defensive error he picks the ball up once again and he finds the back of the net really consistent from him doing so he didn't give up whatsoever and he finds the back of the net lovely stuff from Musiala we look to be the dominant force in this game and we're proving to be really really good as we are literally goals galore 60th minute and we make another goal at Musiala once again it's literally 1v11 it feels like for Michelin I might as well only have Musiala on the pitch because he's the only one doing the business but I don't mind because we are now 4-0 up in this tie really good goal picking it out from the corner he takes his time and he takes the shot and he slots it in the bottom corner with the, out of the keeper's reach and we are wheeling away with this game making another high scoring performance things you just love to see making a substitution now as I feel like it is needed feel like a few players can get on now Javi Simmons coming on for Lorente just changing it up a little bit sorry actually going to be making Carrasco come off and then switch over yeah sorry my bad and then Havertz is going to come on for Musiala he's got four goals under his belt so he doesn't need to be on the pitch anymore and Sidney Ryberger coming off for Pellegrini 61 minutes gone here and FC Michelin are literally going to try and get a consolation goal but it's not to be Masarari picks up the ball and he finds Mueze Keane who makes a pass to Javi Simmons. Havertz on the ball. He's got fresh legs. He's got the pace. He finds Moise Keane. He's got options. Can he take it upon himself? He's not going to. Pellegrini now. And what a goal. 5-0 with only 25 minutes left to go in this game. And we are literally romping it. This is so good to see. I love it when a plan comes together. And to be honest, we are showing such togetherness in this side. To get the goals that we need. The teamwork is there. The sharpness is there. And we are definitely proving to be a dominant team across all competitions. We see the game out really nicely. I was hoping to get a clean sheet. I really wanted a clean sheet. I love it when you can finish with a high scoring kind of game and a clean sheet also. We try to get a six here as Jamie Simmons gets a shot blocked. Havertz on the ball there. Again, he gets intercepted, nearly getting a six on the actual score sheet. But it wasn't to be. We finished the game 5-0. And the man to talk about is definitely Jamal Musiala as he picks up the match ball to claim his match from for the four, four goals that he did collect 
and the six attempts that he did make. Brilliant stuff from Jamal Musiala. Lovely to be able to see him getting such goals. And we do then have a few simulation games. Coming off the back of that, Hamburger being one of them. 3-1 win. Pellegrini, Havertz and Andreas Martin getting on the score sheet. An unlikely one in the Bundesliga. But it is nice to see him get a goal. Had to switch it up with Richarlison being injured. And Moesa Keane not having as much fitness. And then we go into another simulation against Augsburg. Lorente, Richarlison and Carrasco getting on the score sheet. To make it 3-1 in the end. A solid amount of wins in the simulations also. So we are definitely being in the driving force. 12 played, then 1-9, drawn 2 and lost 1. 29 points, 1 point behind Borussia Dortmund, 4 points in front of RB Leipzig. 9 points separate the top 4, so it's definitely looking to shape up to be an interesting one, and I'm looking forward to continue. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Please like and subscribe for more content just like this one, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video. Cheers. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.